Would you publicly say that Donald Trump bears any responsibility for the, some of the losses in the midterm elections? Would you say that publicly? You know, I don't like this. I don't like these parceling out because he supported Ted Budd who won and he supported J.D. Vance who won. I think there's a lot of things. That's why I've put together an after action report. We've got to look at Dobbs. But here's the one thing that I think people should be talking about, the amount of ticket splitting. The amount of Republicans that went out and voted for a Republican at the top of the ticket. Look at Arizona, the top vote getter is a Republican. Look at Georgia, we had eight of nine statewide races won by Republicans. But why are Republicans going and voting for one Republican and not the other? Trump. We have to work hard to bring is, those isn't, independents isn't that the in. Answer to but your, that means you turnout was not question. the issue. The answer is Trump, isn't it? Yeah, I'm saying I'm not into the blame game right now. I think we've got to do an analysis. I think it's too quick. RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel is not in the blame game. She doesn't want to blame Donald Trump for those disappointing midterm elections. But apparently Stuart Varney's like, bro, it's Trump. There's a reason why she's dancing around this whole thing is because she has a few challengers for her position because they're not happy with the situation either. One of those challengers is a clown, but she's still afraid of his potential power shift. Let's watch that, who's that guy? This week we spoke to Hami Dillon who's about to run against you for the job of being RNC chair. Watch this, please. I think a lot of the ways that we get people elected are outdated. We've been uh, insisting on same day voting in many states where other opportunities are available. And as a result, Democrats are banking their votes for terrible candidates. Even though we have good turnout on election day, we still lose. This level of failure is not acceptable to any Republican I hear from outside the members of the RNC. We really need new leadership. Rana, what's your response to that? We really need new leadership. So there's a lot of people outside the RNC that don't understand what we do. Voter reg, election day turnout, election integrity, but also ballot harvesting and getting those votes banked early. And we're well, gonna continue to do that. But you know what I say, Stuart, is we've had consistent leadership for six years. I've brought a lot of change to the RNC and we're gonna continue to do that. But you, you've you gotta keep that going if we're gonna be successful okay. in 2024. Would, and that's what I intend to do. So Harmeet Dillon is one of those folks challenger. Mike Lindell is challenging her. Laura Ingram's pissed. Remember the night of the election? I'm pissed. I'm mad. Uh, she wants some change <laughs> happening. Lee Zeldin wants some change happening, but he won't run. She is feeling the pressure. Therefore, she doesn't know which way to answer these questions was. What should she do? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things which they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, Jr. Where, you know, the base primary, the most animated Republican voter is still, still hugely into Trump. However, when you want to go statewide, national, um, in a general, some of those swing independent whatever voters. They're not so crazy about this dude anymore. And so, you know, in these more purple or swing or whatever toss up states, or what have you, um, in places like Georgia, where Kemp just destroys the competition, mm -hmm. right? Um, Stacey Abrams got walloped. Kemp just being your run of the mill, milk toast, regular country club Republican. He vastly outperforms Herschel Walker, who's Bro, barely knew what job he was going for, <laughs> it seems, right? And so what do you do when you're dealing with those two dichotomies? I do not envy this woman, JR. Well, um, I mean, maybe it's time to shift gears and move on because the party has changed. Uh, I like to clarify it as the red part of the party and the blood red part of the party, you know, the extra violent <laughs> ones. They're all the same in general in their principles. It's just a matter of how they think they should propose those things.